Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today. I'm here with Chain Soldier episode number six reaction. So the previous episode it was the battle between um, Yachio and uh, Himari, uh, and obviously um, Yuki was also there with her. And uh, yeah, against time stopping and time rewinding, they put out a really good fight. And uh, you know we like we were able to keep an eye on Yachio completely, seeing what changes in her mannerisms you know whether she's tired or not whether whenever she was tired you know like yuki and uh, um himani realized that they she probably has rewinded time so immediately changing their plan you know like taking appropriate steps for the appropriate situation like this they were going pretty well but then one thing was miscalculated that is when um yacho uses i th used i think golden time or golden hours something like that um, which stops time for 10 seconds, which was unexpected. And that caught us off guard. We got uh, injured. However, by the end of it, we stood back up again and was able to get to her. Uh, Yuki used one of his techniques where he like returned back to his human self while Yachio's uh, attention was focused on him. Yamari came in and defeated her. So, you know, everything worked out and yeah, they won. And now today's episode, I'm guessing we're going to see um, um, uh, Shushu's battle. Most probably, I'm not really sure because that other girl is fighting, and I'm pretty sure think I will fight Yoka. So you know, I'm guessing Shushu will be fighting this other girl. I forgot her name, Sahara, I think. Yeah, something like that. So let us see. So yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Pick it whichever is the preference, and let's begin. Okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Mm. Oh, this, oh my god, this is some crazy, absolutely ridiculous, in the previous episode, <laughs> oh my god, oh boy. Yep, there you go, it's true, true. Wakasa Sahara. Yeah. She just wants to sleep. Clobber this girl. Yeah. He's like, what? <laughs> Cheerleader? <laughs> Oh. 
what it's arm wrestling oh just hit yeah okay damn okay okay damn <laughs> oh my god oh my god this is literally like a brawl <laughs> oh boy really <laughs> what what Huh. Okay. All right. What the hell was that jiggle physics? What match? What? What is happening? Okay. It allows her to boost her strength. What? That is... Oh, that... That's an interesting ability, so she can just increase her power. Yeah, that is true. Damn! Oh my god, in the stomach! Yeah, she's going to lose. In no way is she winning. Because... In the end, Kyoka will be fighting Tenka. <laughs> oh, her friends. <laughs> and obviously that's why she went to the yep the defense force Okay. All right, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, however, if she becomes smaller, she's going to get beaten up even more. And it's going to hurt. Oh, she's becoming bigger. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, that's interesting. She literally is covering the whole body slam. <laughs> but then again, if she dodges, it's over. Oh no, damn, she act. Oh. <laughs> now eat her. <laughs> I don't know. Do something. Wait, did she defeat her? Whoa! I wasn't expecting that. Because I thought, like, this is like a point-based system, so if he, she loses, then there's no need for Kyoka and Tenka to fight. Okay. Oh no, is she going to get up? She's getting up. Oh, God. 
Super Saiyan. Okay. Wait. What's she Zen to? She's literally Zen to. What the hell? Oh my god. Bro, she just ripped her dress off. <laughs> She's literally a female Zenitsu. Except, you know, her personality. Oh yeah, there you go. She got defeated. There you go. Because if she wins, there's no point in Kyoka and Tenka fighting. And I'm pretty sure they will fight. Yeah? Damn. Yeah. Um, cover up your... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you gave your all. Yeah. Obviously, that caught her off guard. She didn't realize something like that. Hmm. She's taking it hard. Yeah. It's here, there you go. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you raised my memory. Hmm. <laughs> the wrestling. No. And she still hasn't covered herself. Bro! Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> ah. <laughs> wow, what a thing to say. <laughs> Bruh. All right, so final match now. Okay, is Yuki going to fight with her? I'm guessing. Hmm. What the? Hey, there's something there. Who the? Oh, oh God. Hey, this is not good. Oh, uh, there's no, ch we're not having this battle. Um, Tenka and Kyoka, these guys will probably attack us before that. Yeah, this is bad. Oh, here we go. Mm. Oh, God. Oh, no. 
Wait, this Ultraman is the worst actor. Yeah. Right in. Oh, great. It just broke. Yeah, no way are we doing that now. Dying, bro. Where's Yuki? Yeah. <clears throat> right. Ooh, nice. Okay, here we go. Paradigm shift. <laughs> Just kicks them away. Ah, oh, smack it away. Oh, there you go. <laughs> what? Is, she, is he trying to find someone? He or she, I don't even know if this is a he or a she. Oh god. Oh nice. Yeah, chill. I'll probably stop time there and help her. Oh, it's a he, obviously, okay. And I, I, that, that voice threw me off, you know. Orochimaru's voice, so. Yep. She, so she winded time. Okay. Wait, how is that going to work? Wait, is that going to work? So she's go he's going to get su super speed alongside super strength as well. Okay, that'll be interesting. Yeah, so he's literally going to become strong and fast because his fast forms Weakness was that he wasn't strong enough. What the hell? Damn, this is interesting. So he can fuse uh, and get a lot of interesting abilities based on the person that is. Wow. Oh my God. Hey, that is crazy. War cloud. Ah, brand bro. Bo. Damn. Oh my god. Okay, I do wonder what her power is. Hmm, those two, we saw them. Wait, she can like, she's floating, what the hell? This <laughs> torture. Yeah. Oh my god. Wait, really? Ah. That's handy. <laughs> okay. Bah! Power of Mato Grand. Oh, it's okay. I see. 
Oh. Unique style of combat destroys the creature. Without reeling on a pitch ability. Yeah, we saw that before. Ah, interesting. I see. That makes sense. What the hell? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Wow, she's using a lot of one after the other. Like, she's gonna get tired soon. Oh no! Oh, rewind time! Rewind, uh, she can rewind. Oh, oh yeah, I was one. But! <laughs> and you need to dodge as well. Dodge the attack. Oh god. Yeah, she's too tired to use it anymore. What the hell? What? Huh. Interesting. Wait, she took care of everything. How? Oh my god. Don't get it again. Hmm. Yeah. All right, that is it.
Oh no, that's a... Uh, okay, yeah, Nate Senpai. <laughs> Mad shit. Allows her to increase the strength for the amount of time of her choosing. She can use this for a minimum of one minute and a maximum of six minutes. Ah, I see. What's this at one minute? She is I see. Okay. And that was this episode. Okay, that was episode number six, was it? Yeah, episode six. So, this episode, we get to see the battle between Sahara and uh, uh, Shushu, and then the Shuki's attack. You know, basically these two. So, a uh, few things to talk about. First of all, Sahara's ability. Uh, it's an interesting ability. I'm going to read uh, Ney's explanation in the end. Um, so, okay, according to Ney, uh, her ability, Mad Sheep or Crazy Sheep, um, Physical fortification ability that allows her to increase her strength for the amount of time of her choosing. So she chooses a time. Okay. Uh, she can do it for a maximum of one minute and a maximum of 60 minutes. Minimum of uh, one minute and maximum of 60 minutes. Okay. Shorter time frame, stronger she becomes. I see. That's why she was saying like three. So I'm guessing she fortified herself for three minutes. That means that's, that's going to make her a lot strong. You know, like 60 minutes and 3 minutes, big difference. So, the shorter the time frame, the stronger she becomes. Nap totaling, at least 3 minutes is required between each uses. Okay, so she has to use it, then she has to sleep, then she has to wake up again and then use. Otherwise, it's not, okay, it's an interesting. But other, and if she somehow gets um, knocked out or, you know, like falls unconscious, if she passes out while matchship is... Uh, you know, awakened, she'll lose her ability to differentiate between friends and foes. Right, interesting. So that's her ability. Basically, if she doesn't sleep, she'll probably not be able to keep using her ability. And if she somehow gets unconscious during that time, she's just going to go crazy. Hmm. Right. Okay, so yeah, that was Sahara's ability. We got to know that. And I'm guessing she used it for three minutes because they were asking i wonder how long sahara will do it for and think i was like oh i guess three or so so she probably did it for three minutes now here's the thing like i said the difference is quite huge like 60 to 3 that means sahara was actually using a lot like you know like like almost like uh 90 percent of her power she was using like if you think about it like the range is from one minute to 60 minutes she used three minutes that means like she like got extremely strong that's why I said she literally used 90% of her power at that time. Um, yeah, so... Okay, th that's interesting. Now, after that, um, that was that. And then there was obviously the final section where we get to see these people. They start attacking us. These Shuki, these humanoid Shuki. And uh, there's two of them at a distance. And then there's one who has come in front of them who is like using like lightning or whatever. So that's what's happening. Right. Another very interesting thing happened here in this episode is that we got to see that Yuki can use two people's abilities. Who knows? Maybe three people's. Like we don't know. Like like we saw in today's episode that he can literally use two people's ability at the same time. So why not three or four or five? I don't know. Like I do wonder if there is like a limitation to it. If not, she can he can literally be one of the strongest... <laughs> Like, you know, characters in this show, obviously not by himself, but if he cooperates with others. So, yeah, and this is going to help a lot because, you know, like, we got to see that Himari's ability helps him gain speed, while Hyoka's ability helps him gain uh, power. So, Himari, when he turns into a Shuki in, under Himari's influence, he um, lacks strength. While under Kyoka's influence, he lacks speed. So it's going to complement each other and, you know, like, kind of um, fill up the, the sections that each lack. So Kyoka and Himari together, she, he has super power now and super, super speed, both of them. I'm guessing, we still haven't seen his ability properly, but I'm guessing that's what it is now. So, wow, that was interesting. I wasn't expecting that, though, you know, like that they can literally fuse the two together and, you know, like something like that. 
that's interesting another interesting thing we got to know here is that um like the reason why kyoka is a commander is because of the fact that she can defeat shuki without using any special tools she trained herself so much and in such a degree that she has been able to defeat shuki's troops normally without using these swords or weapons in that sense i feel like she can be she's literally one of the strongest because just think about it without using the peach's power or the um the special weapons everyone here cannot do anything to a shuki while if it's kyoka even without using the peach power or the like you know normal swords and stuff he, she, she can defeat shukis you know in that sense she is quite strong she's very strong like more stronger than anyone i'm guessing in that sense but obviously everyone is definitely going to use their peach power and everything and alongside yuki she is very strong as well so yeah either way um and it makes sense and that is why she was accepted as a commander because i remember her saying in one of the previous episodes that um with my ability you know it was impossible for me to become a commander you know that is why uh that is why she trained herself and she was able to gain this amount because i guess it does make sense because you know unless until we've realized that kyoka has a power like this which he can use on yuki and yuki can get this strong before that like if you think about it all her power could do is tame some shuki that's it nothing else you know and it, they have to be compatible and like no wait oh no the, the compatible thing is with um shushu never mind um you know like and uh, obviously the shukis that she tamed they weren't really that strong they you know got defeated very easily so in that sense it does make sense she's quite weaker compared to her other uh like you know like comrades in the department of the peach you know like using the peach ability um however um normally she can use like anything to defeat shuki so, which is obviously something very special about her nobody can do that so that is why she got accepted which makes sense um right not only that no okay that was that now also today's episode got gave us i don't know some kind of a glimpse about tenka's ability which we still don't know what it is all it seems like it seems that what she did was destroy all these shuki's you know before they were if she is going to fight this thing however i do wonder what nature her ability is it seems she is very strong and everyone's implying that kyoka also said like oh she is here everything will be fine so yeah i do wonder what it is you know like what type of ability can it be you know let's let's wait and see um right and i have to say one thing i really like about this show is that the abilities are quite unique if you just just think about it like you know like sahara's ability you know it's an interesting thing you know like you can like the amount of time you designate it'll make you stronger based on the amount of time you designate not only that uh, the whole um like you know like uh, what's her name uh, yachio's ability about stopping time and rewinding time you know i guess that's pretty normal basic and that's not really anything like you know interesting or special because i've seen a lot of other anime characters who can use this ability um but then uh thing uh shushu's ability is also quite kind of interesting not only she can become bigger but she can make anything else bigger and smaller which is an interesting twist to it a very interesting twist to yuki's ability is like not only he can transform into one but multiple uh you know like multiple shuki based on whose influence he is under and not only that she he can fuse it if he is under like you know both two like you know like people's influence he can literally fuse that two power together which is very interesting. this is like a very unique thing i wasn't expecting this so that's another unique thing like you know the different powers about you know like here um so yeah like quite a few interesting powers um what's her name uh um himari himari's power is also very unique she can you know like use other people's abilities but it has a compatibility thing to it so she cannot like use anyone's ability like that because that literally make her broken completely so yeah but you know like th- these type of things the abilities are quite unique you know they're not really very straightforward yeah the 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 base is very straightforward but each has a little twist to it which i kind of like 
So I do wonder what Tenka's ability is. It'll be interesting to see. Hmm, yeah, so there you go. Uh, was there anything else in today's episode? Uh, no, I think that was it. Right. Yeah, that was this episode. Great episode. Now let us see what type of ability Tenka has. Next episode will probably uh, show us that. Alright, now let me talk about this episode scene by scene. In the first section, we get to see um, Shushu. Um, like obviously she saw that whole thing with uh, Himari and um, what's her name? What's his name? Uh, Yuki. So she, she's now like, alright, you know what? I have to beat Sahara. And uh, he comes, she comes to the battlefield and she tells uh, Yuki that just you wait, you know, I'm going to defeat her. <laughs> and then, you know, then we'll talk. And uh, here we go. Watch this, Yuki. I'm going to clobber this girl. And maybe you'll show me some appreciation afterwards. Oh my god. And Yuki was just like, what? What, what did you say? I don't understand. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, uh, over there, Yachi was cheerleading because she lost, obviously. You know, she has to do that now. So there you go. Now, Sahara, they start their battle. Oh, before they start the battle, they kind of do a little bit of a, you know, like just wrestling, you know, like just fight. And uh, here you can see that Shushu is kind of like, you know, like, obviously she's very strong and she can, she's actually, um, like, at an advantage against Sahara. But obviously, she, they both of them weren't really using their ability. But, you know, like, this and that, like, they kind of fight each other and that's it. Um, yeah. So, here we can hear uh, that Tenka and Yachio talking about how long will Sahara use it for? Obviously, at that point of time, I didn't realize what they're talking about. But later on, we get to know. So they were talking about the time, that how many minutes she will, like, you know, use. So there you go. The actual battle begins. Uh, Shushu becomes big, uses Paradigm Shift. And the Sahara uses Crazy Sheep, which she uses for three minutes. And she's very strong. Obviously, she just starts whacking, <laughs> whacking, um... Uh, shushu around now a few interesting things like you know happens here first of all um <clears throat> asahara tells shushu that why don't you become smaller you know because since you're bigger you know like, it takes time for you to attack me it's easy for me to dodge and it's easier for me to hit you as well which is true but at the same time i feel like like becoming smaller would have been a bad decision because just think about it you know, the more bigger you are, you can say that a, even if it's a smaller person, you know, like, and even if they have a lot of strength, if you're big, if you're a big person, you know, if they hit you with all their power, you might actually, like, mitigate the damage a little bit, the more bigger you are, you know, because obviously your surface area will be more, your body surface area will be more, so, I, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So the bigger she, like, she is, however strong Sahara is punching her, it will hurt, but it will not hurt as much as it would have if she was in her normal size. Just imagine she was in her normal size fighting with Sahara. One punch and she would have gone flying. It, it, it would have been over. So I feel like that would have been a very bad idea if she decided to return back to her normal size. It would have been a very bad idea. Yeah, it would have helped her to dodge. Maybe like, you know, like dodge the attacks and stuff because, you know, the more bigger you are, difficult, it gets difficult for you to dodge. Um, but the disadvantage to it would have been definitely worse because if she gets hit once, it's over. And, and on the spot, like, you know, like, like defeat. So yeah, that's the thing. But we saw here, like, since she's big, she got hit multiple times. She was hurt. She fell down, but she, she didn't really got get defeated. You know, uh, she didn't give up. But if she was a normal size, I'm sure she would have immediately, like, just got knocked out. Like, and immediately the match would have ended. So, I don't know. I feel like it was a good decision for her to keep, like, staying big. If she decided to revert back, it would have been a bad decision. Either way, you know, like, she gets, like, clobbered down. She falls down and then she's like, alright, you know what? Um, nah, I'm not going to give up. And she thinks about it and she's like, you know what? It's kind of weird because now I'm expecting, like, obviously Yuki is here. And she thinks about her friends, how her friends talk to her about how love changes people and stuff like that, you know, and uh, how, you know, like you 
just want to you know like be good be your best in front of the the other person and she never realized that she was like oh i don't understand all of those stuff and she said like oh but i do want to have my life filled with excitement so that's why she decided to come here in the demon corpse or whatever it is called so and his fr her friends were like oh you'll understand someday and now he she's like yeah you know what i can understand a little bit now uh, i don't want to show my uh, lame like you know my 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 you know like my shortcomings in front of him um so she's like ah you know what let's go all out so she uses pattern shift even more she becomes bigger she becomes so big that she literally body slams her <laughs> and he she gets knocked out now the match would have ended here but um sahara has a has a little uniqueness to her ability if she gets knocked out while using crazy sheep um, yeah, she's going to go crazy and she's just going to go berserk and that's what happens. Her strength becomes even more stronger and she starts attacking Shushu and Shushu gets defeated. Like just grabs her and just like, yeah, just immediate loss. So there you go. Now, I don't know, like I feel like, the, like, like this is like a, um, you know, like, I can say that, you know, Sahara lost before she, like, just think about it. She got knocked out, didn't she? Technically, wouldn't that be a loss for her? You know, like, I guess I do understand, like, after getting knocked out, like, this whole, the, the whole thing that happened with her, that is also part of her ability. But, you know, like, I don't know. I feel like the fact that Sahara got knocked out and, you know, like, still she was able to continue. I feel like that's a little bit of, <laughs> you know. A little bit um, unfair but again like I said that is also part of her ability so I guess that's why it's probably not unfair you know <laughs> something like that yeah but either way um so there you go she goes def gets defeated and uh, yeah so Shushu is like sad obviously she wasn't able to win she doesn't want to show her self crying in front of Yuki so she's like all right I'm going to go back so she goes back but Yuki comes and talks to her and Yuki's like don't worry about it you know and she, she's like yeah, she's like oh I'll show you my lame side and she, he's like obviously not like you know you, you did your best you know like <laughs> and then she comes and like kisses him and there you go while all of that is happening Nene or Ne whatever her name is I always forget her name and it's Ne isn't it I call her Nene I don't know why Nay, yeah. She, uh, uh, sorry, she sees, she's like seeing that, oh, like, uses her ability to see if there's like trouble happening, like, you know, like in the vicinity. And yeah, trouble is actually happening. There's two humanoid Shuki just standing there. One of them literally looks at her. So she was able to detect that someone was keeping an eye on them. She looked at her, so... I don't even know if this is a Shuki because the girl on the left looks like a Shuki. She has like horns and stuff. But I'm not even sure if the other girl is a Shuki. That's probably a human. I don't know. Not really sure. She looks like a human. Um, but anyways. So she immediately detects her. And Ney's like, oh my god, what the hell? Right. So they're like, alright, we're announcing... You know like that we're going to start attacking so good luck to you guys and yeah all the shuki start attacking so nay um wants everyone and then this big guy comes in raiden that's his name i'm guessing yeah and he uses thunder so obviously in this situation like we have to evacuate the people who cannot fight for example nay and this girl, I forgot her name, the one who made the barrier. Oh, and she was like, oh, this barrier cannot be broken. But they literally break the barrier in one, like, you know, shot. So, <laughs> yeah. Either way, they get evacuated. Tenka goes and evacuates them into, like, a distance. While over here, Kyoka takes over. Kyoka's fighting the Shukis. Uh, Shushu comes in and starts fighting as well. Sahara joins them. And, uh, you know, like, Himari, Yachiho... Uh, Himari was on, going to get hit by a lightning, but Yachio comes in and saves her. And then Yachio fights with this guy, Raiden, for a long time. You know, 
with using her ability. While all of this is happening, over there, Kyoka is obviously using um, uh, Yuki's ability. However, in comes um, Himari and she's like, can I also do it alongside you? Who knows, maybe she's going to, he's going to get stronger. And like I said, this part was very unique. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, you know, like, I wasn't expecting the fact that he can literally use two people's power together. So this makes me wonder, where's the limit? You know, can he keep doing this? Like, two, three, four, five. Where is the limit? Up until how many people can he use the power at the same time? That's what I'm thinking. And I'm guessing... Um, right, wait a minute. Uh... Oh no, that's not possible. Yeah, it's not possible. You know why? I just realized that. Because, um, what's her name? It is only possible for um, Kyoka and... Uh, um, what's her name? God damn it, I'm always forgetting her name. Himari, yeah. It's only... Uh, like, you know, like, only these two can do, do this. Because Kyoka's ability is, you know, doing this, like, with Yuki. And... Himari's ability is to copy other people's ability and that is the only reason why they can oh yeah okay you know what for a for moment I forgot the fact that um, this can only happen because she can copy her ability okay unless and until there's someone else who can copy Kyoka's ability or someone who has a very similar ability to Kyoka unless and until that happens I'm guessing like like Yuki can only transform with the help of um, Kyoka and uh, uh, Himari. And like she can, he can literally fuse the two powers together as well. Right. Okay. So yeah, there, there is a limit. These two only. There won't be like she, he won't. Be. I was like, yeah, maybe he can do it multiple times. I just forgot completely that it is only possible because um, uh, Himari can copy Kyoka's ability. Unless until that happens. Yeah, because this is Kyoka's ability that is happening. So, originally, it would only be Kyoka who could use uh, Shuki's, uh, uh, sorry, um, who can uh, use Yuki's ability alongside, you know, Yuki. However, since Himari can copy her ability, that's why Himari can also do it. But that's it. That's the limit, I guess, you know. Okay, so there you go. Okay, I think I have my own answer. There you go. It's not possible like that. This is only the two. Because I was thinking, I was like, like she, he can become so strong like that. But then I remember that, no, not everyone can do this. It'll only, only two people, that is Kyoka and Him, uh, Himari can do it. Because their abilities are kind of like that. That is why. Okay, there you go. Um, right. Now, while all of that is happening, you know, like we get to see, um, sh uh, oh yeah, the, like he fuses the both powers together. And Yuki becomes a stronger, like, you know, version of him. Um, what was his name? War Cloud or something? Eternal Chain Slave War Cloud, yeah. And, and he's like, ah, power is coursing through me. And he uses, he's like, maybe I can use that ability, that roar ability. And he uses that and it, like, destroys a lot of other Shukis. While over that, Tenka has helped ev evacuate Ne and this other girl. And she's like, alright, let me go and see what I can do. <clears throat> okay, so she comes in the battlefield and she's seeing what's happening. And uh, and also, you know, Kyoka was also like, don't worry about anything. Tenka's here, everything will be fine. So, there you go. Here, this girl is using Ne's ability to look at what's happening while she's fangirling. And here, like, she kind of explains to us about Kyoka's ability. Not ability in a sense, but the fact that she trained so much that she can use, like, you know, she can, she can defeat Shuki's on her own without relying on her peach power or their weapons. So that is why she has been able to become the commander of this squad. Um, and she kind of explains all of that to us and, you know, stuff like that. I was wondering why are they like, you know, showing like, you know, usually because in anime, there's a reason why everything happens. So I was wondering why why is she like you know looking using Ney's ability what's the point of it you know like in the grand scheme of things because of that he, she was the person who would <laughs> like narrate to us about what's going on and how Kyoka is like you know has gained her abilities that is why the, like you know there was a requirement for her to use Ney's ability to see what's happening 
you know, she, she literally acted as a narrator there uh, <laughs> to us the audience. Um, right, so over there, Himari, uh, sorry, Yachi was fighting against Raiden, and you know, like, uh, this part was crazy. Her hands get blown off, and she's like, oh, you think blowing my hands off will let me stop posing? All right, here we go. So she uses both her legs to pose <laughs> and rewinds back time, five seconds. Um, that helps her hand to regenerate back, but you know, she's too tired, cannot do much. Um, and everything seems it's going to be over, but Tenka comes in and she's like, like, I don't know where she comes, came in from. She just literally appeared behind her. And she's like, oh, everything will be fine. Yachio, you, you go back, you know, like take some rest. <laughs> And even Raiden is like, what's happening? Like, where did she come from? What the hell? And uh, yeah, and she's think I was like, all right, come on, let's fight. I can take care of you. And Raiden's like, huh, you take care of me? What about my, uh, like, you know, my army? What can you do against my army? And she's like, oh, your army? What army are you talking about? You know, and we, we zoom out and we see the whole army is just destroyed. Like flames, blue flames are all over them. Like, she literally has wiped out the whole army still don't know how but next episode will probably explain to us and Raiden, Raiden is like okay you know this should be fun let's do it and they start their battle you know and that's where it ended so let's see how this goes and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to seeing Tenka's ability like I'm just wondering what is her ability you know like like everyone has been hyper is hyping her up so much I'm, I'm really curious not only that, I like I said, I've, I've seen that these abilities that each person has, like it is obviously something that we have seen in other shows as well, but it has a unique twist to it, you know, most of them. So I'm kind of wondering, like, you know, like what type of ability Tenkas will be and, you know, like what unique twist will her ability have. Uh, but anyways, uh, let us wait and uh, next week will probably give me my answers. That is it. That was my reaction to this episode, episode number six of in soldier if you guys enjoyed this video uh, video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out and that is it thanks for watching i will see you guys next week with another episode of chain soldier until then goodbye and have a nice day